cross one. Okay. One freestyle session. San Diego. Uh, San Diego. <laughs> San Diego, but I mean. San Diego. <laughs> cross from San Diego, he does our B-Boy battle. How was the battle this year? That was pretty dope. Uh, a couple of, well, one heated decision, but had to break it down, you know what I mean, for them, and I guess they understood. And uh, other than that, it went good. Nice and smooth, 16 crews, and uh, everybody, everybody did it good, so I'm sure everybody was happy with it. A couple, like, cool. I guess the semis was like the most heated one. Everybody on stage, there was probably like 300 people on stage, plus the audience, so it was just like, but everything went good. Cool. Well, thanks for coming out, man. You got any highlights? Uh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good weekend. You have fun. Yeah. It's all that matters. Well, I got to see Juice. Juice. Right. I wanted to see Juice and Ryan Fest. But... Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, you and <laughs> 200 other people. What's up? With the world famous John Doe from the 1200 Hobos, a good friend of mine. What's going, John? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty well. Excuse me, pretty well, pretty well, pretty well. Grammatical correctness. It's Scribble Jam 2003. Right, we endorse right, these right. things. Right. Study your English. Anyway, <laughs> how'd you like the weekend? The weekend was pretty dope. The weekend was pretty dope. Um, good B-boy battle. Uh, good performances, uh, good DJ battle, hot DJ battle, DJ very, battle very good DJ battle. DJ battle was I think, point I think everyone will agree that the DJ battle was probably exactly. one of the best that they've seen in years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I know it's one of the best I've seen in years. Definitely. So cool, man. Um, so on uh, mixtape, man. You gonna hook me up or? Waiting on, how's waiting, how's on artwork, waiting on artwork. Waiting on artwork. These guys, look, look man, they can never get that shit together, man. I don't know, like this underground hip hop shit, man. These motherfuckers. I don't know, man. That's all right. No, I wish you the best of luck, but you gotta get shit together, bro. All right, I'll thank you. Next time. All right. Here with my man, Mad Ill. <laughs> my man, Static. What up? Yo, let me ask you a question. Is this your first 40 ever? This is my first 40 ever. I've been dreaming of this since I was a little kid. <laughs> since watching Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society. <laughs> this is what I came to the US for. Okay. For real. This is Nat L. He's from Denmark, along with his DJ Static. They performed at uh, the event yesterday. How was it? Did you like it? We loved it. Every single second of it, it was like a very big experience for us to come here and try to show y'all what we do in Denmark and just put it down here and to see me, like how the crowd reacted there. That was, like, that was real dope. Was it good for you? It was good. It felt good. It felt real good that like people appreciated everything we did. And, yeah. What about you, Static? How was yesterday for you? It's great. Great. We love to perform here and I was surprised how how people enjoyed it and were, were into our set and shouted what we asked them to, you know, put their hands up and all that stuff. It was great, and, like, nice experience. We could have pulled out a, a more tighter routine. It wasn't the best performance we ever did, but, but the people were into it, and that's the most important thing. I'm going to tell you a little secret. It was a really good performance. It was Think a lot so? better than any other performance that we had this weekend. Where? Like, you guys are the tightest hip-hop group I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you think so? The, no, the tightest. Like tightest, okay. the show was like, boom, 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 boom. Like yeah. it was just like. Yeah, we tried to, we tried to make it complex. And the were a little bit more drunk. Yeah, yeah. we're trying yeah. to make it, it made complex, <laughs> but make it simple so, so people understand it. It's probably more complex than people realize yeah. because we try to make it so people understand it. But it is, you know, we have to move very fast with the needles and put the, the next one on. You know, and he has to keep. Keep, keep saying his stuff on the right point. And so there's a lot of interaction. But we try to keep it simple so that people understand it and appreciate it. Yo, what's that? What's that one song though? For MC, for DJ. What's that? What's that called? It's called 50-50. It's a 12-inch out in Europe right now. A bit of a you know underground. I think I heard it on, there. I heard it on DJ Hype next day. That's right. Could have been yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, just to let people know what we do. 
because our group just consists of uh, Nadil and Static. Static and Nadil, that's, that's the group. So it's one MC, one DJ, 50-50. Okay. So it's just one verse, him doing his thing, and the second verse, me doing my thing. I, I think that song is like the essence of you guys not only live, but as a group. Yeah. It's a perfect representation for you as a song. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like that interaction is just so boom, it's like so fast. You know? That's the plan, yeah. Right. You get so, to see what you guys do. Not only you can hear it like audibly just with the recorded part, but to see it live with the whole, the whole different thing. Was done. Was thank done. you, thank you. Was done. Nice to be here. Cool, well, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Static and Nadil, all the way from Denmark. All the way from Denmark. This is Natty. Rocking for y'all. Scribble Jam 2003. DQ, Mike B, the coach. Mike B, the coach. Cincinnati Reds, they fired uh, Jim Bowden and uh, Bob Boone. Bob Boone. They, they fired Bob Boone and got the coach here, Mike Made Aaron Boone cry. Mike B, to coach the Reds. So how was your weekend? You like it? That's fabulous. Have a good time? This is the highlight reel, so we need some highlights. What was your highlights? Uh, Don't say the same shit as everybody else. I can't say the stage dive, right? No. no. <laughs> can't say that. What about Dibs almost beating somebody up on stage? I think he actually threw a punch. Did he? Yeah, that was pretty hard. Alright. That and, uh, well, uh, I thought the DJ battle was uh, quite extraordinary. We got that covered. We got that covered. Pick a new one. Come on. Now MF Doom, you can't say that. Who's MF Doom? Just kidding. Alright. Uh, I'll tell you my highlights. Tell us, man. I got some alternates. See, I see everything. So, I got all the highlights. Brother Ali was fucking fantastic. That motherfucker was dope. Brother Ali on Friday, I was a shit. You see that? You see that? It was dope. It was dope, right? Yeah. I want to just talk about Scribble, and I'm happy. Okay. And why I will be happy to continue to fucking come here. Just because, like, it's like a trekking convention for people that love hip hop way too fucking much. And I appreciate being able to be around those people every so often to kind of remind me that I, you know, that I'm not just this old dude that used to love hip hop and now I rap for a living so I have these issues with hip hop, you know, because it's a job you know, kind of a thing. But this kind of shit right here kind of, you know, as weird as some of these, these kids might be or as like, as crazy as like some of the situations that come up, come up, like I think it's important this shit happens because for kids in the Midwest that love this shit too much, for the few of you that actually still DJ and graffiti or still breakdance and rap, there's not too many people left that are like into this shit like that. You know, it's like all the all the all the graph writers listen to fucking metal and all the breakdancers listen to house and the rappers don't give a fuck about nothing but pussy and money. And DJs are fucking strange people just in general. Like there's there's not this is a good place to see some type of community. Right. And it only happens like once a year and that's too bad. Right. I know the history of Scribble, and uh, to an extent, I missed the first one or two of them, I think, but uh, I know that the graph has, in my head, always been the main reason why Scribble Jam exists, but at the same time, I think, I mean, the DJs endure and hold it all together, but at the same time, I think, uh, I think, I think that they depend on everybody else, too, to kind of do their part. See, I didn't mean for this to turn into like my fucking stupid theory. Of, no, it's not stupid. It's not stupid because I was actually thinking the same thing the other day myself. But like, it's good that you bring it up and, and, and raise it as a point because well, I think it's very, it's very disjointed community nowadays, it dude. It's like, it's like you know, you go to in my city, it's a little different because it's a smaller town. And when it finally embraced hip hop correctly as a community, it did it with like such. Everybody was so down. We all would break paint everything. You know what I mean? It's but the same thing here. Yeah, yeah, size, yeah. Well, and it's because you know, I mean, we take it so serious because we didn't create it. We take it part in it, and we're all insecure about our place in it. So therefore, we fucking treat it like a religion and give it everything. Right. And you know, just I've gotten to I've gotten to travel a lot now. I've gotten to meet a lot of motherfucking people, and it's always different coming to. A festival like this as compared to other big things that I've gone to in other places just because of how communal it really is in other places it's dope it's fun you get to see a lot of fresh shit but people don't talk to each other the people do not sit down in these new circles of friends that they've made you know what I'm saying it's like it's you still just take off and go back with your click and that's it you know this is some different shit and this is good right now there's a there's a rapper who met a DJ and next year they're gonna be a crew